it's in the church. I mean, what a unique day it is. Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. It's really a blessed day. Glory be to Truly God. Truly a blessed day. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. So, how's the year been? 2021. This wow. is um, the seventh month. This is like a mid-year. So, yes. how's it been for you? I mean, all this while. Wow, it's been an amazing journey to the glory of God. God has been faithful. Hallelujah. Of the truth, I mean, the year has been has come with its challenges, but also with blessings of God mm. in abundance. Mm. His divine health. I mean, money cannot buy divine health. So I'm grateful to God for divine health. And even times when, you know, you break down a little bit, the fact that God heals you and gives you strength to, to, to arise from the bed of sickness. Mm. So it's, it's something to be thankful this for. This is God like you talking faithful. to me. This is like you talking to me. <laughs> And this is like me saying, Lord, I am so thankful for healing because I've been done. I was done for like two weeks, wow. but I'm thankful to God that I am healthy again. I am glory back on my God. feet. All great, all great. You know, glory be to God. Hallelujah. Amen. All right. So the year is worth thanking God for. Yes, you know, there are lots yes. of people who actually would have had a um, long list of requests, of goals, expectations, expectations and um, they're like, oh my God, I haven't gone half words. Some says, I haven't have gone. 70%, uh, you know, and yet the year is quite running very fast. fast. So let's look at now that we're in the mid year. So, how do we achieve some of the remaining goals that we have? You know, I have somebody who says, I have 10 and I'm still on number two. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, wow. so how are you going to achieve the remaining nine before mm. December? So, what kind of mindset do you think we can have? I believe the first mindset to have will be the mindset of gratitude. It's important. Gratitude. Yes, it's important to be thankful mm. because, despite, I mean, you achieving maybe just two out of 10 goals, God mm. has still done something. Mm. So it's important to be grateful for the things that God has done. And it's very amazing how when you have a heart of gratitude, even in, in, even in situations that are not so pleasant, you, 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 you begin, God opens your eyes to see that there are blessings even in that seemingly unpleasant situation. Mm. So the first thing to have is a, a heart of gratitude, gratitude and to maintain that attitude mm. you know, throughout the year. Look at your goals, look at your expectations, review them, what mistakes have you made, you know, and try to see how you can move forward from there. Be encouraged, keep hope alive. God has given us another uh, a brand new start, you know, yeah, and, and another opportunity. Mm. So, you know, keep hope alive and just keep going. I like when you said encourage <laughs> yourself, keep hope alive, be positive minded, just like David encouraged himself in the, in Lord. the Lord. So, all you need to do is think about God's mercies, God's blessings around you, and then you can have, when you're grateful to God for all of the things He's doing, now you can see much more of what God is Definitely. saying, what God is doing in your life. And you know what, when you look at the life of Jesus Christ, most during his miracles and all of that, when he give, he gave thanks before he mm. does anything. And yeah. that shows us that when you give thanks to God, it multiplies. God's blessings multiplies. Um, breaking the bread, he gave thanks. Yes. Um, before he fed the 5,000 in the Bible, he gave thanks. Yeah. You know, and you said and earlier bringing that Lazarus out of the, out grave, of the grave, he gave thanks. He gave thanks also. So, if you think that um, 2021 from January to um, July might not have been okay. Maybe January to June, June might not have been that productive. If only you can give thanks to God for yes. keeping you alive, yes. keeping you in good health, yes. um, healing you when you were down. Yes. I mean, you can see much more providing of for you, making way for you, for you mm -hmm. giving you favor. Mm -hmm. That's right, that's right. So at this time, go through your list again, make a review, check how did you start the year. You know, there might be some good steps that you actually started the year with. Okay, be thankful to God for that and then keep that. You know, keep and that going. And then some of the things that you might not have done so well, yeah. just take a pause and then see how you can, you know, change strategies. Yeah. And, it's, it's, it, and it's also important to you know, be aligned with the Holy Spirit and know, right. you know where God's heart is mm. in for this season that he has brought you into mm. and to you know, know what it is he has in store for you so that you can be aligned mm. with him and then you can fulfill the, the things that he wants for you to fulfill in this That's season. That's a very valid point there, you know working with the Holy Spirit so you're not just planning for yourself yes. but be sensitive what is God saying is God now saying? Lord this is a new a fresh new start for yes. me what are you saying yes. and this is a month of perfection mm. now that brings us to the theme for this perfect month blessings. <laughs> for this month perfect blessing I mean there couldn't have been a I mean a better theme than what we have now perfect yes. blessings yes. the month of seven the month of perfection mm. and then this is telling us that um, the blessings some of those those blessings those things we see around that you count as blessings God is making them perfect yes. god is like putting a touch a fresh new touch yeah. on your on your career on what mm. you're doing god is perfecting all of that yeah. tell me how do you yeah. feel when you, when you when you first saw it the perfect, perfect blessings, blessings. The, the scripture that is that, that came to my mind yeah. you know um, james chapter 1 verse 17 that okay. says that every good 
and, and perfect, perfect gift comes from above and from mm. the Father mm. of Light, mm. with whom is no variableness, no shadow of turning. Mm. You know, it just tells me that whatever good thing that I desire, you know, God is able to give it to me and to give it to me perfectly. Mm. So if I desire good health, God is able to give me good health and not just, you know, to be healed, but I can also be a channel of blessing and an instrument of healing mm. even to others. That's perfect. God can, God can heal, you mm. know, without even any trace of the sickness. Very true. You know? So that's, that's perfect healing, you know. Mm. Um, God can make you to be blessed and prosperous so, mm. such that, you know, you're, you're, you're not just blessed, but you're also a channel of blessing to others and you're being, mm. you know, um, that, that, that treasure house. Mm. You know, so you know, I like that when you say that God can heal and you can find the trace of the scar, you know, around you. Um, that happened to me some, some, I think two years ago. I had this pain, this you know, excruciating pain somewhere mm. in one, somewhere in, in a part of my body. And I prayed and I prayed and I prayed, and you know, it just wouldn't go. And you know what I did? It was about um, the end of the year, about December, so about December, yes. So when I got my first income first week of the year, you know, I just said, God, I'm going to give you this, and I'm tying this to my healing. So, yeah. after praying, I went to the headquarters at the and then I dropped my income, I dropped everything, and I just prayed wow. to God, and I said, in seven days, I want to get my healing. Trust me, sis, I got my healing that night. Wow. Like, Glory that night. I tried to touch, to find, to trace the pain. I couldn't find it. Wow. I mean, this was a first-hand miracle. Wow. Like, I couldn't remember even how it felt. Like yesterday, mm. I couldn't remember, and that's what perfection. That's what yeah. God can do in our lives. Yeah. I think, and I believe, another perfect blessing mm. that in, that God has given us is the gift of His Son. Yeah, you know? Jesus Christ. Yes, for God so loved mm. the world that He gave us His only begotten Son. Mm. You know, God gave us His Son, and in in Christ we have it all. Right. We have it all. So He's a He's, he's a perfect blessing, and that's why we are here tonight for the Holy Communion to partake of his body and of his blood and so if jesus is the perfect gift of god to mankind it means that for you to enjoy the perfect blessings of god you need to align yourself with jesus christ yes. you need to have accepted him as, as your lord, lord and, and savior, and, savior. Yes. and so when you have him living in you you have yes. the holy spirit living in you you're walking with jesus then you can enjoy all of the blessings of god so it means yes. that if you're not a child of god if you have not if you have not made jesus your lord and personal savior all of the things you're enjoying might not be perfect they might mm. not even last long mm. but when you have yes. jesus in your life you can be rest assured that you would have a perfect blessing yes. in all of that may the lord help us in jesus name Amen. anyways <laughs> we are talking about the communion service for july 2021 and there are lined up of activities that you don't want to miss so at this time i would like um, sister um, adela um, obayomi to give us a rundown of what the service for tonight would look like okay so we're going to be having the praise and worship okay by the anointed ministers of the national praise team mm. and then the opening prayer by Pastor Mrs. Chioma Wogu. Following after that will be the Bible reading by Pastor Mrs. Ulua Tui Olaliko. And then our Father and the Lord, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, mm. Pastor E. Adeboe, will bring to us the word from the throne of grace and then the communion proper. And then the communion proper. And this is like the eyes in, you know, on the cake. I mean, that's that is the time you don't want to miss. You yes. don't want to miss the communion part. You don't want to miss. You don't want to miss taking the bread and the wine. You know, and there have been lots of testimonies of people who actually came sick and just yes. by partaking in the communion yes. service received yes. their healings. Yes. You know, yes. you know, we have the the, the, the body of of our Lord Jesus Christ mm. and, the, and the blood, you know, by, symbolized by the wine that we take. And Jesus Christ said we should do this often in remembrance of him. And, you know, in, in, in partaking of the table, you know, of our Lord, we have mm. healing, mm. we have deliverance, mm -hmm. we have restoration. Hallelujah. Yeah, I, I, I remember um, when the Israelites were going to leave, just after they had taken the Passover mm. meal, they were giving gifts. Mm treasures you know riches mm. by the egyptians just mm. when they you know so it's it's a it's a time to look forward to every time you know you're, you're going to partake you know the table of our lord it's mm. indeed a time to look forward to because you can never live empty-handed you can never live never. empty-handed when you yeah. dine with the king of kings yes. i mean that's a, that's that, that's just a good one and you know where that it's a privilege to actually partake in this and um, it is also this is one of the commandments that christ has given us he said we should do this in remembrance of his death and resurrection and it is because of his death and resurrection that we are alive 
that mm. we can say we are strong, that we can say we are more than conquerors, that we can say by his stripes we are healed. healed. Because of the sacrifices that, that he, he went paid. through, yes. that he paid for us, yes. that is the reason we are Christians. That's the reason we are more than conquerors. So yes. keeping these, doing this as often as we can, as he said, is just one of the best things you can do for yourself. Yes. And it, it is a commandment. Yes. So you have yes. to do this as often. Yes. We have to do so, you know, to, to obey that command and there's mm. a blessing for obedience. This particular, obeying this particular command is a blessing for it. You know, you can also use that as a strong point when you're praying. We, we, you just said something now. You said the blessing in obedience. So you can use that to say, Lord, for obeying you, because you said I should do this in remembrance. This is a commandment and I'm doing this and there's a blessing in obedience. So Lord, I'm trusting you for this. Can I get the blessing? For obedience, mm. what do you think? Yes. I, mean, I just thought of that. Yes, now. It, 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 I mean, it simply means that you are tying, mm. you know, your the the, the holy communion mm. to something. Mm. So, per adventure, you are seeking your body. Mm -hmm. You know, I partake of the table of the Lord tonight. Mm. You are trusting God, and Lord. I come to you mm. tonight mm. as I partake of your table tonight. Heal me mm. completely. Make me whole. Take this sickness away. You know. So, so don't just come. Yeah, don't, so have don't an just expectation. Have an expectation. Yeah. Don't just be a part of the service for just the service sake. Have an expectation. And it's such, um, what a coincidence it is. Today's Open Heaven also talks about the, the Holy Communion. Holy communion. Yes. And yes. I was like, this is like preparing us for the evening service, preparing yes. our mind, you know. And you know, when Daddy was talking, you know, in the, Holy, in the, in the Open Heaven, he was like, this is one special meal you shouldn't take for granted. granted yes. This is one special meal you shouldn't trivialize. This is one special meal you shouldn't just take because people are taking okay, it. It is something. Unworthily. You shouldn't take it unworthily. You should examine yourself. Yes. You should yeah. think about it because this is like bonding yourself again with God. Mm. So you need to check yourself, you know. Mm. So I think communion service is one time to have this sober reflection on your life. Yeah. So um, you know how you just live your life all through the week and then the month. And when it go, gets to that communion service period, this is, I think it is a time for you to be like, Lord, I come back again to you. This is like a reconciliation. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I just thought of that. Yes, I, I believe it's you mm -hmm. know, a call to repentance call as to well. Yeah. yeah, because you, you, know, you reflect, you examine yourself, and mm -hmm. somehow the Holy Spirit is able to you know, open your eyes to see where you must have gone wrong. Mm -hmm. So it's a time for sober reflection and genuine repentance. It's a time for sober reflection and genuine repentance. So wherever you are, there's no better place to be but very close to your TV sets, okay? Just if you are at home or close to your mobile device as this um, program is also streaming live on various um, platforms on Facebook, on YouTube, on Instagram, you can get details of this program and you don't want to miss it for anything. I mean, it's such a privilege to be part of this because this yeah. is the seventh month. So this is like, this is like stamping and God perfecting the year. Yeah. If you have missed June, May, April, March, February, and January, this is one anyone shouldn't miss. Yeah, another another, opportunity. another a opportunity, a brand new start. A brand new start. Mm. I mean, God is just awesome. He starting is. the day with a communion service. The first day, I'm starting the month, the yes. first day of the month and with the a first communion day service. Of the second half of the, the year. The first day of the second half of the year. This is like fueling ourselves spiritually. Mm. Getting ready for the journey ahead. Yeah. Getting, getting strength, for the, getting journey strength for the journey ahead. I just pray that the Lord will release his perfect blessings Amen. on every one of us as Amen. we partake in this July communion service of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. Amen. Thank you everyone for being a part of the live studios of Dove Television for this month's um, communion service and um, Dickness Adiola Obayomi. Thank you so much for giving us your time also for joining me here. It's always a pleasure. All right. And so at this time, the service is just about to start. So please call your friends and family members. If you're at home, get your communion bread very close to you. Get your Bible, get your maracas and your tambourines and get set because we're starting the service with praise and worship to bring down the presence of God in our midst. My name is Lillian Ogedebe. God bless you. we we'll see you at the end of the service.
can be like you, Lord. You are faithful, God. You are powerful, God. Oh, bless your name, Jesus.
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You are wonderful. You are worthy, oh Lord. And you are wonderful. shout hallelujah you are welcome to holy communion service of july 2021 wherever you are all over the world i want us to please rise up as we begin to exalt the name of the lord let us worship him let us give him all the glory let us give him praise for the lord is good and his mercies endure forever Brethren, let us appreciate him. Mali Zembrobo Shinta. Nare Kateza Kruma Hushkeriga. Our God is good. Worship him. The Bible tells us in Psalm 100, verse 4. Psalm 100, verse 4. He said, Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful and praise his name. I want us to just bless him. Be thankful, brethren. Let us be thankful as we bless his name. Thank him for the past Holy Communion services. Thank him for the past Holy Ghost services. Thank him for our Father in the Lord, for his strength, for his grace upon his life. I appreciate the Lord. Thank him for the miracles. Thank him for the signs. Thank him for the wonders. Thank him for healings that we have received. Thank him for deliverances. Let's thank him for the salvation of our soul. La ribo shekanga. Rama Sakantrobo Sheke, Ruma Zantangrabo Sheke. Let the Lord hear your voice. Let the Lord hear you appreciating Him, brethren. Let us bless His name. Mandrobo Santa, Lord, we thank you. To you will be all the praise, to you will be all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. We are still thanking the Lord. James chapter 1, verse 17. James 1 17 says, Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above and cometh down from the Father of light, with whom is no variableness, neither shadow of turning. Is there anyone that has received? You have received a good gift from the Lord. You have received a perfect gift from the Lord. This is the time to appreciate Him. Let's not take the Lord for granted, my brethren. Let's appreciate Him. The Lord has been good to us. The Lord has been faithful. Remember his divine grace. Remember his divine help. Remember healings. Remember interventions. And just appreciate the Lord. Father, I want to thank you for what you have done in my life. I want to thank you, oh God. My heart is full of gratitude for your tender mercies over my life. To you be all the glory forever and ever. In Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. In Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. July is the seventh month of the year. And we know that seven is the number of perfection. The Holy Ghost service for the month of July is tagged, God bless you, part seven. With the sub theme, perfect blessing. What does perfect mean? It means to be complete. Completely free from any kind of fault or defect. That is what God is promising us even this month. In Psalm 138 verse 8. Psalm 138 verse 8. The word of God says, The Lord will perfect that which concerneth me. Thy mercy, O Lord, endures forever. Forsake not the works of thy hand. 
I want us to turn that to a prayer. The Lord has invited us to his banqueting hall. All that we need for perfection has been provided. Can we just begin to pray? Oh Lord, perfect that which concerneth me. Turn that scripture to a prayer for yourself. Turn that which concerneth me to perfection. Is it in the area of my spiritual life? Emotionally, Lord, perfect. Physically, Lord, perfect. In the name of Jesus, brethren, pray. Lali sombra na katozi grena The table of the Lord is full. The table of the Lord is full with all that we need for perfection. Thank you, ancient of days. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Hebrews chapter ten, verse twenty-two. Hebrews ten, twenty-two. The word of God tells us, let us draw near with a true heart in full assurance of faith. Having our hearts sprinkled from an evil conscience and our bodies washed with pure water. Is there anything that wants to hinder us from receiving our perfect blessing in this holy communion service? I want us to begin to plead the blood of Jesus. Is it an evil conscience? Plead the blood. The word of God says that blood speaks better things than the blood of Abel. Let the blood speak for us. That blood speaks mercy. That blood speaks forgiveness. Ask for grace to draw near to the Lord. Draw near with full assurance. Unwavering faith. Brethren, let us talk to the Lord. Father, perfect. Perfect as I draw near with full assurance. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Second Samuel chapter 9 verse 13. Second Samuel chapter 9 verse 13. The word of God says, Mephibosheth dwelt in Jerusalem, for he did it continually at the king's table and was lame on both his feet. The David, who was an earthly king, invited Mephibosheth. The Bible says that he ate continually, continually, not one day, not two days, but continually, but he remained lame. I don't know where you are today, my brethren. We have been coming continually to the table of the Lord. But alas, there is lameness. It may be spiritual lameness. I want us to begin to talk to the Lord. We are not experiencing victory in our Christian life. We are up today. We are down tomorrow. We have gifts of the Lord that are dormant. Talk to the Lord about it. On this table of perfection, I want to receive my perfect blessing. Free from any default. Free from any kind of defect in the mighty name of Jesus. Are we praying? Are we praying? Are we calling on the name of the Lord? Father, Lord, visit me in my spiritual life in the mighty name of Jesus. Say, Gede. Makusha Katonga. Rapoko Sokara Mosheke. I will not remain the same. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Is it possible that the area that we are experiencing lameness is in our emotions? Are we having negative emotions? Are we having depression? Is there any kind of obsession? Let us talk to the Lord at this time. I am before the table of the Lord where I am to receive perfection. Father, come and help me. Come and show me mercy. Let open my eyes to behold the blessing that I may appropriate it for myself. Let me live here with testimony. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Is it in the material that we need? Materially, we are lame. Let's ask that God will visit us. Let there be a visitation from the throne of grace. Thank you, Father. Bali soprana makusheke. La kongraba sokanda laba sheke. Father, Lord, we trust you. Trust you, oh God, that your name will be exalted even in this holy communion service. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. And so, Father, we want to thank you. You bid us come and we have come to your presence. To you be praised in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Whatever may be our situation, we trust, oh God, that as we come to this table, our lives will never remain the same. We want to thank you for our Father in the Lord. We pray that you may use him for us. Use him for us. Take all the glory. As we are living, we shall be rejoicing. For in Jesus' name we pray. We dedicate this Holy Communion service in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let somebody shout hallelujah. We are welcome to this special, wonderful, glorious Holy Communion service. 
Our Bible reading will be taken from the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 11, from verse 23 to 34. 1 Corinthians, chapter 11, from verse 23 to 34. I read. For I have received of the Lord that which I also delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. After the same manner also he took the cup, when he had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as oft as ye drink, drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as ye eat this bread and drink this cup, ye do shew the Lord's death till he come. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body and blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily, eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, and not designing the Lord's body. For this cause, many are weak and sickly among you, and many sleep. For if we judge ourselves, we should not be judged. But when we are judged, we are chastened of the Lord, that we should not be condemned with the world. Wherefore, my brethren, when ye come together to eat, tarry one for another. And if any man hunger, let him eat at home that ye come not together unto condemnation. And the rest will I set in order when I come. May the Lord bless both the reading and the hearing of his word. Amen. Let us pray. How great thou art, immortal, immortal God, invisible God, immortal God. How great thou art, immortal, immortal God, invisible God. Immortal God, how great thou art. Father Almighty, we want to bless your holy name. Thank you so much for yet another opportunity to dine with you. Thank you for making us worthy through the powerful blood of the Lamb. We ask, Lord, that to accept our thanks in Jesus' name. And as we approach your table today, we pray that even our dining with you tonight will lead us into perfect blessings. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. And praise the Lord. We want to take a look at Exodus chapter 12 from verse 30 to 36. Exodus 12 from verse 30 to 36. And Pharaoh rose up in the night, he and all his servants and all the Egyptians. And there was a great cry in Egypt. For there was not a house where there was not one dead. And he called for Moses and Aaron by night and said, Rise up and get you forth from among my people, both ye and the children of Israel, and go. Serve the Lord, as he have said. Also take your flocks and your herds, as ye have said. And be gone, and bless me also. 
And the Egyptians were all gent upon the people that they might send them out of the land in haste. For they said, we be all dead men. And the people took their dough before it was leaving their leading troughs being bound up in their clothes upon their shoulders. And the children of Israel did according to the word of Moses. And they borrowed of the Egyptian jewels of silver and jewels of gold and raiment. And the Lord gave the people favor in the sight of the Egyptians, so that they lent unto them such things as they required. And they spoiled the Egyptians. Our theme for this month, as you know, is perfect blessing. And you'll probably be wondering what has the Holy Communion of God to do with perfect blessing. Well, since Proverbs chapter 10, verse 22, Proverbs 10, verse 22, tells us that it's only the blessing of the Lord that make it rich without adding sorrow. Since we can only get perfect blessing if it comes from the Lord. It follows that anybody with any amount of wisdom at all, we want to befriend that God. That God who can give perfect blessing. You want to befriend him. You want to serve him. You want to please him. Now, to be able to serve him the way he should be served, according to Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 4 to 5, Deuteronomy 6, 4 to 5, you are to love him with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your might. In other words, you have to serve him wholeheartedly. With all you are, with all you have, everything thrown into it. And then if you want to serve him like this, then there might be certain things that may want to hinder you from doing so. And these hindering forces must be gone. The children of Israel have been telling Pharaoh again and again, we want to go and serve God. And he said, you can't go. At a stage, he said, okay, you can go, but you must leave your children behind. Oh, the old ones can go. Uh, they said, no, all of us must go. Okay, you can go with your children, but you must leave your cattle behind. Ah, what are we going to use to worship him? To worship God 100%, you must not be hindered by sickness. Because as we saw in John chapter 5, from verse 2 to 14, John 5, from verse 2 to 14, that man who had been sick at the pool of Bethesda for 38 years wanted to serve God. But he was hindered by sickness. How do we know he wanted to serve God? As soon as God healed him, he went straight into the temple. That's where Jesus met him the second time. He didn't go home. He went straight to the temple. He wanted to serve God. It was sickness that tied him down. I pray for every one of you tonight, as you partake of this Holy Communion, any form of sickness or disease that have been hindering you from serving God fully, 
will be gone in Jesus' name. If you want to serve God wholeheartedly, you must not be hindered by poverty. In Mark chapter 12, from verse 41 to 44, Mark 12, verse 41 to 44, the Bible tells us of a woman who gave two mites as offering. She wanted to serve God, but all the money she had was two mites. And she threw it all in. <laughs> but when the children of Israel were leaving Egypt, that night, the Bible said, they spoiled the Egyptians. They were loaded with wealth. In Exodus chapter 12, there, verse 36, Exodus 12, verse 36, they collected all manners of money, raiments, everything. If poverty had been hindering you from serving God, tonight, as you partake of this Holy Communion service, the Almighty God will break the yoke of poverty in your life. If you want to serve God wholeheartedly, you must not be hindered by bondage of any type. Because in, in Acts chapter 3, from verse 1 to 11, Acts chapter 3, from verse 1 to 11, the Bible tells us that when that layman who had been sitting before the beautiful gate of the temple got healed, the Bible said he was walking, he was sleeping, and what else was he doing? Praising God, praising God. He wanted to serve God. And not only was he sing, leaping, walking, leaping, praising God, he went into the temple and broke up the service. He got in there. He saw all those people who are praising God in the, in the gentlemanly manner, ladylike manner. He, he got there jumping, shouting, glorifying God. He stopped the service. He became the center of attraction. To worship God the way you ought to, nothing must tie you down. No demon, no evil force must be able to hinder you Israel got the perfect blessing after that Passover meal. The Bible tells us in Psalm 105, verse 37, Psalm 105, verse 37, no feeble one among them, no sickness to hinder them from serving God the way they wanted to. Poverty didn't stop them because Pharaoh himself said, take all your cows, take your hearts, take everything, just go and serve God the way you want to. I've said it again and again, a day is coming when one of my children will come to me and say, Daddy, tell me, how much will it cost to pay the salaries of everybody, every pastor in the redeemed Christian Church of God? Just tell me, give me the budget for one year, and I will pay. I pray that that fellow will partake of the Holy Communion tonight, Amen. and the door will begin to open. The children of Israel were not hindered from serving God because that day there was no bondage, no force could tie them down. In fact, the Bible says those who have been holding them captive were urgent on them, saying, go, go, go. 
hurrying them into freedom. And Exodus chapter 19 verse 4, Exodus 19 verse 4 said, God, as it were, carried them on eagles' wings. They flew out of Egypt. As we partake of the Holy Communion tonight, everything you need to serve God with all your heart, with all your strength, with all your might, everything you need to spend and be spent for him, the good health, the prosperity, the freedom, may the Almighty God give unto you. Amen. So, as we approach the table of the Lord, remember that everything that you might need is already included, even in the meal. The bread, Representing the body that was broken for you. The wine representing the Holy Spirit who will help you to witness, help you to plant churches, help you to pray, help you to glorify God the way you should be glorified. Everything you need is included in the meal. That is why I kept on saying the Holy Communion is not an ordinary meal. That's why it must be eaten correctly. That's why you can't partake of the meal if you are not a child of God. That's why you cannot partake of the meal if you are in any form of bitterness against your brother or sister. That is why you cannot partake of this meal unworthily. Because if you partake worthily, oh, it breaks yokes. It opens the door for you to serve God the way he should be served. You partake unworthily, it can kill you. So, if you are listening to me tonight, and at long last it has come clear to you, that to partake of the Holy Communion, you must be born again. To partake of the Holy Communion, you must be at peace with all men. To partake of the Holy Communion, you must be ready for a life of holiness. If it appears to penetrate through to you at last, you can cry to God now and ask him to save your soul. Or you can ask him to uproot every plant of that the enemy have planted in you of bitterness, of anger, so that you become worthy to be a partaker of the meal. You can do that now. I will give you about two minutes to cry unto God. If you are in the church setting, you may want to go to the altar and do your praying there, asking God to save your soul or to purify you so that you can become worthy for the meal. You can go ahead now and cry unto the Lord. And after that, I will join you from the altar in the Redeemed Christian Church of God campground. And we will continue from there. But in the meantime, let me pray for you. Savior, I want to thank you once again for your word. I want to thank you for all those who are surrendering their life to you now. I pray, Lord God Almighty, that you will receive them all, that your blood will wash away their sins, and that you will save their souls and write their names in the book of life and count them worthy to be partakers of your body and your blood in Jesus' name. I'm also praying, Lord God Almighty, for all those who are saying, ah, there's bitterness in my soul, there's anger there against my brother or sister, and I want to make peace with them, Father, give them the grace to do so. Amen. Thank you, my Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord.
And those of you who have given your life to Jesus Christ, please contact me as soon as possible. I would love to know your name, your address, and your prayer requests. So I can continue to pray for you. And if you locate a redeemed Christian church of God near you, go there, talk to the pastor, tell him you have given your life to Jesus, and he will tell you what to do next. God bless you. Amen. Lord. Now, tonight, as we approach the table of the Lord, let us come with great faith, believing God that tonight, he will perfect whatever pertains to us in Jesus' name. Amen. When you take the bread, your prayer will be that the Lord will not just heal you, but he will make you whole. So that there will be no trace of any form of sickness or disease left in your body. When we drink the wine, when it's time to drink the wine, we will also tell you how to pray. But as soon as I serve you the bread, and I give the go-ahead, then you can eat the bread and continue to pray that the Almighty God will make you whole not just well, but completely whole. And he will grant your request in Jesus' name. The Lord Jesus, the very night in which he was betrayed, took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat, this is my body, broken for you, do this in remembrance of me. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go ahead, you eat, and pray, God, don't just heal me, but make me completely whole. Go ahead, eat and cry to me. Broken for you. And 
God, you eat Remember me. This is my body broken for you. And as you eat it, remember me. This is my body. Broken for you, and as you eat, remember me. This is my body broken for you and you and you and that's you eat it remember me this This is my body, broken for you, and as you eat, Let your fire touch my body. Let your fire touch my soul. Be Touch me, oh Lord, make me, oh, let your fire, let your fire, let it touch my body, touch my body, let your fire, touch my soul. Let 
let your fire touch my body. Let your fire let it touch my soul and let your fire. If you have not been served bread, could you please shout hallelujah? If you have not been served bread, shout hallelujah. If you have not been served wine, please shout hallelujah. Pastors. We're serving the wine on the altar, please. Let your fire touch my body. Let your fire touch my soul. Let your fire. Touch my spirit Let me, O oh Lord Make me whole Make me whole Let your fire Touch my body Let your fire Touch my soul, let your fire touch my spirit, touch me, O oh Lord, make me whole. Shall we stand, please? When we drink the wine tonight, you're going to cry to the Almighty God that He will send down His fire to touch our body, soul, and spirit, and that the fire will do a perfect work. So that from now on, the grace to serve God perfectly will be released unto us. Yeah. After the same manner also he took the cup when he had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as soft as ye drink it in remembrance of me. In the name of the Father, And of the Son, yeah. and of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Thank you, Father. Let your fire come down. Touch my body. Touch my soul, touch my spirit. Let that fire do a perfect job. Removing every hindrance from my life so that I can now begin to serve you perfectly. Release to me tonight everything I need. 
to serve you perfectly with all my heart, with all my soul, with all my spirit, with all my strength. Send down the fire, Lord. Ramo shikan to rinde kere monku shanta. Ke rinde moko shike tundra maki ke te re ke rumunda re monku rinde ke 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 rinde re monku shike rinde kere moko tunda. Oh Lord, send down your fire. Send down your fire. Thank you, Father. I'm shaking in the room. I'm shaking in the room. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Now, I want you to lift your voice to the Almighty God and say, Father. Even before tomorrow, give me perfect testimony. Open your mouth and cry to the Almighty God. Even before tomorrow, Holy Ghost service, please give me perfect testimony, perfect healing, perfect wholeness. Perfect deliverance, perfect freedom, perfect testimony all around, body, soul, and spirit. Lord God Almighty, even tonight, give me perfect testimony. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. And so shall it be in Jesus' name. Whatever pertains to you, my Father and my God, we perfect tonight. And even before tomorrow, you will have perfect testimony. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Let someone shout hallelujah. Let us remain an attitude of worship as we pass the cups to the aisles so that the ushers will help us collect very quickly. And then let's take an offering that will show God that we believe him that we know our testimony will come and come even tonight and lift up that offering to the almighty God and thank him and say father I'm thanking you in advance because I know my case is settled go ahead talk to the almighty God with this offering Lord I'm saying thank you 
thank you because I know I will have a perfect testimony. Even tonight, I know, Lord, you will give me a perfect testimony. So that by tomorrow, I will have my testimony ready. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. Glory be to your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. And so, with joy in our heart, let's dance to the nearest basket and drop our offering. Praise Him, praise Him, King of glory, praise Him. Praise Jehovah, hallelujah. Father, we bless your name because you are worthy to be praised. Thank you for what you've done in the past. Thank you for what you have done tonight. Thank you for pleasant surprises for all of us before the sun rises. Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Father, receive the offerings of your children. Sanctify it. Use it for your glory. And everything we need to serve you perfectly, Father, abundantly provide for us. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Well, let someone shout a big hallelujah.